and this guy's just like, mm, yeah. He's like asleep. Look at him. He's asleep. Hello everyone, FungineX here. Welcome back to uh, Planet Coaster. New alpha game just released a couple hours ago, as at least when I was filming this. Um, today, in this episode, we are going to look at the flat rides available in the game and uh, and see what they have to offer. We'll ride a few of them. Um, this park here is just one of the sandbox parks. It's a pretty open area. You can see the full size uh, scale that I allow you to build in. And I was just playing with the paths, the different paths they have. Um, but we'll go into that when we actually build a park. As far as the flat rides we have available, not a ton. But again, this is very early release, so I'm sure they're going to add more. Let's just start placing them. So the first one we have is called the Forge. It is an extreme thrill ride. I'm going to put that guy right in the middle here. And apparently this one, it looks like these raise up and those spin. So it's pretty cool when you put down a, um, a ride, it, it goes through a little checklist of everything you need to do before you can open it. So we need to place the entrance. Um, we're going to place the entrance in the over here sure uh, place the exit I can place the exit right there add a queue to the entrance so we're gonna go ahead and see we've got queues we've got two different types kind of a, a cement one and more of a cobble one let's go with the cobble one and we are going to turn off angle snap and then let's turn the length up a little bit no nope, not too much I want the length pretty short to begin with as we come out and I want to kind of go around the thing, so yeah, something like this. Let's see, I need to get up on top so I can see better. It's hard to trace the exact angle, but we're close enough. And let's see, if we go all the way around now, can we bend it back on itself? So make the length really short and turn it kind of that way. And then we'll increase the length again. Maybe five's too big. All right, that'll work. And then we need to get there. Okay, then we need to add a ticket booth to the queue. So we'll go ahead and put that right. Hmm, maybe let's delete a few of these. So ticket booth, all right here sure and then we need to create an actual path to get it there so let's get the path it's kind of using this ride but what's cool about it is if you select something else let's select like the blue path and let's make it a little bit uh, lower length and lower width just kind of sure whatever <laughs> um yeah okay I, I thought i was going to change the colors but i guess not so let's not do that after all. I really don't like how it connects here. That's all right. And then we'll make the exit just go straight to the end. I'm not going to do that, this on every park, every ride. I just wanted to kind of show you these steps to getting a ride working. So we add some kind of queue, we add an exit, add a ticket booth, and we're ready to go. So now we can open it, tick it on, and it should be open. Uh, once the park itself doesn't have like an open and closed as far as I know let's get out of here are we paused or something yeah we're paused nope we're not paused um, but the amount of people that can be in a park is kind of determined by um, how many rides you have open so if you close all your rides then nobody's gonna come I hear people there they come all right they're coming to the park so Basically, the game determines, okay, this ride can support this many people, you know, in a little bit, or in a certain amount of time, so we'll let that many people in the park. So that's pretty cool. Here they come. While they're coming in, let's add another ride here. Let's get out of pathing here. Rides. Uh, the next one is the Genie. We've kind of seen that one already, but I'll go ahead and place them down just so we can kind of have an example of everything. So how do you turn them? I think you hold Z. Yeah. If you hit just if you tap Z, it'll do a 90 degree rotation. But if you hold Z, then you can actually rotate uh, by dragging your mouse until you get exactly the angle you want. 
And then you can place an entrance and an exit. Thank you. We get a really long one. Uh, oops, so we need to go back to path. So if you do that and it doesn't connect, you can still connect them. There, now it's good to go. Turn it on. They can't get out, so we might as well give them a path to get out here. Oh, that's what, when you connect the path to the exit, see how the whole thing changes? So let's use the blue one on here. And let's use a really long and a little smaller on the width. Maybe something like that. There we go. Okay, so that one's in place. Uh, next one that we have on the list is the hammer swing. This one is really cool. Let's go ahead and drag over here a little bit and place this like right here in the center of the park. And this one just uh, does a big flip. It doesn't go all the way upside down. As you can see, there's a, a bar there, so it can't. But it just looks very impressive when it... Uh, goes off so let's uh, place the exit somewhere over here Add a queue. now there are this thing called angle snap and that will keep the uh the path walking at a 90 degree angle which is pretty cool you can actually change the angle smaller so let's go to 45 and now you can see i can bend it just to 45 degree angles can't attach it. Why can't I attach it? Oh, I gotta do the ticket booth here. Hold on. There we go. And we'll get the exit again. Let's see. Let's use this one. Okie dokie. So that one's good to go. Open that guy. That's some more people in the park. Are people actually going? Yeah, it's just kind of slow. We're on the slowest speed right now, so they're walking pretty slow. But you can see they are getting to ride this guy now. But let's place them all, then we'll ride them. How's that sound? All right, so the next one we have, uh, that was the hammer swing. Now we have the magic twirl. I think this is a more of a kitty ride. So let's have a kitty section over here in our park. And we don't need long queues for these. Okay, open that one, let's give it a path. Come on, connect. Sometimes it doesn't do exactly what you want it to do. Um, this game works really well with freeform, but trying to get it, like if you really want something to be symmetrical, yeah, good luck. <laughs> All right, so that's the little kitty ride. What does this one look like? It's like, uh, Little elephants carrying some kind of sleigh. Okay. Uh, the next one is the Roctopus. So we'll put that one right here. And I'm not trying to go for the most aesthetic park. I just want to get everything down to see what it is. And then we're going to ride them. If you, if you put them too close to the edge, good luck. Short path here, a Q path. Right click to delete any path. Okay guys, we're back. I have had a few crashes, so we've had to replace a few of the uh, the rides, but let's keep going. Uh, the next one we've got is the Screaminator. I'm gonna put him right back in the back here. Give him an entrance and an exit. Add a Q. I like to put now the ticket booth in place first. That way I can get it exactly where I want it. Uh, just make sure you put the skinny edge facing the, uh, the queue. All right, and now I can drive this guy exactly where you want it, make him a nice little cool meander. Whoa, I did not want to go up. I don't know how I did that, but I did. How did I do that? I think I've hit a button here. Okay, <laughs> I guess if you click and drag, it makes it go up. Okay, learning new things every day. And I'm going to turn that guy on. Give him a path. Perfect. 
whatever. <laughs> All right, so he's on. Uh, the next one that we have is the Sky Ace. This one looks really cool. This is the uh, airplanes, but you kind of have some control of them, I think. And I really like the uh, Empire State Building in the middle. That looks That's a really cool feature. No idea if that is an actual real, you know, based off a real ride. I assume it is, but... All right, so we can turn that guy exactly like we want him, place him, and then do the queue. Yeah, that... I think that works much better. And uh, turn him on, exit out of him. Make it the sandy thing. Okay. Cool, flying ace. This is as far as I've gotten without crashing yet, so we're looking good. All right, we've got a big Ferris wheel. This is, oops, this is based on the uh, um, California Adventure Ferris wheel usually has a big Mickey in the middle, but obviously they can't do that. <laughs> place entrance. Where can we place an entrance? Right there. Exit. Oh, I'm so excited to ride these. Perfect. Okay. Open you up. I'm getting good at placing these things. Working a lot better. Okay, Ferris wheel is open. Nice. How many more do we have? Quite a few more. I was saying there's not a lot of rides, but once you start adding them all in, <laughs> there's quite a few. So this is a sun flare. I think this is like a big swing ride. It's really cool. Whoops, whoa, 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 hey, camera, stop, stop. <laughs> I'm hitting Q to rotate it, but it's not working. Okay, whatever. Cool, nice little path. I think I must have hit in T, because, no, why can't I? There we go, rotate. Rotate around, you're open. Uh, you need an exit. Yeah, so whatever exit you attach to that determines what color the ground is under the ride, which is pretty cool. So let's make this one black. Come on. Attach. Attach. Whatever. Okay. A couple more. We've got the Aeronauts, which is a little kitty ride, so we'll put it over here. I think it's a good ride. Yeah, it looks like it. Entrance, exit, Q. At some point, you're like, yeah, I want to have a nice custom entrance and exit, but you're like, ah, just give me a dang square one so I can just finish it off real quick. Especially when you're just testing them out like this. Come on, attach, attach. Oh, no. Oh, now what have we done? <laughs> um, okay, this is going to look horrible, but I just want to finish it. Okay, there we go. So one thing about um, the crash is uh, it can actually crash during save and it will completely corrupt your save. So make sure you alternate between two of them so that if you do lose one, you only lose a little bit of time. So, Or even hit new save game every time. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm always like holding my breath when I go to save, when I go in the ride cam, when I open up the park. You know, there's just so many things that can crash it. All right, 360 power. Ooh, this one looks fun. Give him an entrance. I don't have a really short line. <laughs> I wonder if, if they'll back up into the thing or if they'll, people just won't enter the queue if there's no room to queue up for it. Maybe because my length is so long, is that why it's having problems? Okay. All right, I think we're almost done. Rides. We've got the victory. We've already seen that one, so let's just put it in, but we don't really need to ride it. Just go look at my other playthrough for that. Oops, come on, I'm trying to rotate. Why is Q not rotating? Oh, Z is rotating. That was the problem. 
Okay, so that's the victory. It's just a little pirate ship. And then the last one is that other pirate-themed one called the Whirly Jug, which is another kitty ride. What is the sound that keeps going off there? It's crazy. All right, we got all the rides placed in the park. That is a first. It looks like the sun is coming up. Is that the case? Ooh. Can't tell if it's coming up or going down, but it's, I think it's been nighttime for most of the time. All right, so let's start riding some of these. Let's save it one more time. Go back to the first save. I guess it didn't crash. Okay, so let's start on this guy. We need to ride you. And let's go to first person mode. Here we go. So we sit in this little seat. Hi, dude. You got a big nose. Everybody's pretty excited. Go ahead and start the ride any day, operator. Come on. Oh, that guy was still getting in his seat. Still a few more chairs. There he goes. He's in. All right. We should be starting any second now. Any second. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. So this is some kind of scrambler. Oh my goodness. So it's going to lift us up. And it's going to spin us. Whoa, you go pretty high in this ride. Sweet. This looks like about the fastest it goes. So let's go ahead and go to cinematic mode. Oh, it's, oh, it's already ended. <laughs> that was the end. Nope, it's not the end. Oh, it, oh, it's got like a spin and kind of like a drop mode to it. That's cool. This one is nifty. <laughs> he is loving it. Look at him go. You can see his back of his mouth. You gonna drop us again? Whoa! <laughs> I love how the other hands go up and their feet like fly in like the zero gravity. Let's watch that again. When they drop, they're like, oh no. Not gonna drop us. This is a long ride. Whoa, it's completely going upside down now. Look at this ride! It's crazy! <laughs> wow, I thought it was just gonna go up and spin, but it had so much more. And then it drops you and spins you. Wow, okay, that was one of my favorite rides for sure. And that was called the Forge. Cool. Alright, let's ride this... Uh, this guy here. So are we in a fixed cart? Um, this one in California Adventure has fixed carts and um, carts that kind of rotate or kind of on a track. And I think we need to switch cars to go in one of those. Let's see. Can't really tell. Until it starts going. That one looks fixed as well. Okay, yeah, this one is definitely on a track. Okay, cool. Is anybody in there? No, I'm all by myself in here. I don't even have legs. <laughs> Any day. That's the worst part about Ferris wheel is, is the loading time. Especially if you get an operator that, like, doesn't know how to run it right and they don't get everybody equal amount of time. Come on! Oh, that just guy just appeared out of nowhere. Wow, okay. I don't know how you guys got in since we're at the top of the thing, but well. So it looks like the simulation just loads and unloads from wherever, which is fine. All right, so this game needs to definitely allow us to determine how long it should wait for before just going. Okay, it stopped, people. Maybe we're actually going to go. Hey, we're moving. Exciting. So as we go, this should just roll along the track here. Let's see if it does. Maybe. Maybe go faster. Oh, wow. This is a <laughs> pretty boring ride. Oh, that one just flung down. Ours is kind of stationary. Is that because I have the camera mode on it? Maybe. Let's see if it... 
Because I expected to do what that one's doing, where it kind of rocks back and forth, but it's just kind of sitting here. So that one moved. We should move here. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, I hated this ride. This ride scared me to death because of that. Let's find one that's swinging. There we go. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Not cool, not cool at all. These kids are liking it though. They don't even, they don't even have any seat belts on, look at this. Okay. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, well there is the, what was this one called again? That's the star wheel. Let's go ahead and ride the other star, the sun flare. Are we about to go up, maybe, hopefully? There's nobody on it. Is it open? Maybe I didn't add a... It is open. No one, no one wants to go on it. Huh. Maybe, maybe, maybe because the operator is like in the wall, in the floor? You can't take people's tickets? <laughs> I don't know, maybe we'll come back to that one. Let's try this one because it's actually go. And this is the Sky Ace. So you can see the it spins around and then the airplanes can go back and forth. But I think if you're actually riding it, whoa, you've got kind of controls. Oh, I love the sounds. Let's try and go into this mode. Oh no, it doesn't It doesn't give you control. I thought it have, might have a little lever so you can control left and right a little bit. That would be really sweet. <laughs> can we switch to like one of the back seats? There we go. Well, so we're trying to dogfight the planes ahead of us, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of cool, right? I would like to go that one in real life, definitely. And you get the big building in the middle that you're flying around. Very, very cool. Okay. Let's go check out... I haven't done this one. It's going right now, so let's get on it. So this one actually does go 360. Completely upside down. Wow. Okay, let's get on. Oh my goodness, I'm getting sick already. Whoa, we almost hit the ground. <laughs> No! Okay, we're stuck we're stuck at the top. Are we stuck at the top? No, maybe. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know which way we're going. It looks like it's slowing down. Yeah, without gravity it's really hard to tell when you're riding these first person which way is up and down. Cool. All right, so that is the orbit. No, that is 360 power. No, it's the genie. <laughs> Why is it? Okay, 360 power. Did we ride the hammer swing yet? I don't think we have. Let's get on that one. Remember, this one does not go upside down. Oh, wow, we kind of like, look out, people. Oh, I got to get to the edge. Let's see if we can get a seat that's closer to the edge. Wrong edge. Oh my goodness, this is a good swing. Wow! Come on, give me a seat that's closer to the edge. <laughs> no, I can't find a good one. So it's just a big swing, but it, it sends you almost vertical. Pretty dang close. Let's go look at our face. What did he say? Protessy? Oh, that guy's really excited. He's hanging loose. Look at his cheeks. <laughs> his cheeks are flabbing. Oh, there's twins. Twins are in the race. They're there with the track. These people are loving this ride. Woohoo! That guy's freaked out of his mind. He's about to throw up. Alright, so that was the 
hammer swing. Very cool. All right, let's check out. That guy's still not working. I don't know why. Let's try the drop. Was this the drop ride? Yeah, we already tried the Screaminator in a previous video. So that's the one as it goes up, it spins. And then it drops all the way down. This is the one's going. Let's check it out. This is the... I think the naming is a little off on some of these. There we go. The Aeronauts. Just a little kitty ride. Not many kitties on it, but... <laughs> Just kind of goes around and then it looks like it goes up and then bends over on one side pretty cool all right like that one let's try it first person very tame you want to have a couple of these in your park just for the parents and the kids just so they don't get bored all right that was the aeronauts next we have the scrambler one the rocktopus Looks like nobody's going on this right now. Anyone loading? Okay, they're starting to load. Oh, and we're going. Oh, it's got some good music. Whoa, okay, yep, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the scramble. Oh, and it launches up in the air. Okay. <laughs> There's just too much going on with this one. The individual thing's spinning, the arm is spinning, the middle is spinning, and you're going up and down. And this guy's just like, mm, yeah. He's like asleep. Look at him. He's asleep. <laughs> he could care less. All right, so that is, it says it's the orbit, but it is the octopus. Oh, it's the orbit cam. There we go. All right, and we never did the Whirly Rig, but we've already ridden that one, so let's ride the Magic Twirl. Oh, we just missed it. Darn it. Okay, it looks like we are loaded up and ready to go on the uh, Magic Twirly gig thing. <laughs> so, another little kitty ride. It goes up and down. Kind of like Dumbo. Do you have control of it? There's no lever here. <laughs> it does look like there's water there. That's cool. Down in the bottom. You know, throw some sort of coins in there. Lose your cell phone in there. Oh, this little girl's having a great time. Whee! Oh, she is loving it. Smile for your mom. She's probably taking your picture. There you go. Good job. All right, so that's that one. So have we missed any... Um... I think we've seen them all now except for this guy because for some reason he's broken down let me try and fix him real quick and then we'll close out the video with this guy all right so i think i fixed it i just replaced the ticket booth and now the guy's not in the ground looks like some people are coming but while we're waiting let's just kind of flow over the park and look how crowded it is it's it's pretty decent i mean there's long lines at most of the rides there's lots of people on all the paths you know every ride just about has a has a line yeah, this is this is looking good. I'm 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 digging it. You know, a lot of the other simulation theme park games do not make your park look very crowded because they just can't handle that many people and animations at the same time, but it's looking pretty decent. It's not super crowded, but I think if we added more stuff and once we get like the simulation open, it'll It'll look pretty crowded. I want, you know, add a lot more um, thematic stuff, you know, trees and that kind of thing. All right, you're actually gonna run. All right, so yeah, it's a gigantic swing. So I've been one of these where it's a very small one, but this one looks like it goes way up in the air. Oh my goodness. Do not, I would not ride one of these. I mean, look how much restraint you've got. You've got a little tiny little thing and you're hanging from just a chain link <laughs> I know it's got like four of them for redundancy, but this is not enough. Whee! Why do we twist like this? Is that on purpose? Oh yeah, the top thing up there is purposely twisting you. Alright, let's get more thematic view. Oh, and the sunset is beautiful. 
These little twin guys. You're wearing same shorts, same shoes, same shirt. Interesting sound for this one. <laughs> now it's starting to come down. Yeah, I like that ride. I don't think I would ride it, though, in real life. <laughs> yeah, way too high for the not much restraint. Okay, guys. Well, I think we've ridden now all the flat rides, so we had a total of... Three, six, nine, thirteen rides, and all of them, you know, a little bit different. Really cool, and you could, you know, put theming and put buildings around them so to make each one look a little bit, you know, make it your own. And yeah, you could build like some more uh, skyscrapers around the airplane one. But I'm pretty excited. If, if you guys are hit that like button, if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. We'll do more Planet Coaster. Next up, up should be Coaster Building. And then after that, we'll play around with the scenery and the building buildings. So definitely come back for that. Hope to see you then. It's been Funchin' X. Catch you later. Bye.